Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you all the products that I've bought within the last month or so. Some I have used already and some I'm yet to use for future videos. I've got a package from Look Fantastic, a package from Superdrug and a package from Boots. And I will be recording all the products I have in my house currently. So if you want to see that video subscribe to my channel. But yeah let's get straight into this video. Right, so let's start off with Look Fantastic. So I think I've purchased from Look Fantastic once before. Um, I think I bought the ordinary products from them. So this time I bought some Camille Rose products because I haven't had time to go to the hair shop. So I just thought I buy them online. So I picked up the Camille Rose Curlade. I've heard a lot of good things about this um, moisture butter. It has green tea and jojoba. It's an oil enriched softened hair butter with sweet notes of vanilla and macadamia crafted to deliver intense everyday moisture. So yeah, love, love, love. Can't wait to try this out. This I'll be trying out on my twist outs and my braid outs. But this is what it looks like. It's really nice and thick. Yeah, it feels very, very thick and moisturizing. I can tell already that this is gonna work really well on my hair because I just love a thick product. My hair doesn't like those little lightweight products. So yeah, I got that. Oh, also this smells very nice by the way. This smells, yeah, it just, it just doesn't smell artificial, if you know what I mean. It smells like dessert, but not strong. This has no nasties in it at all. And that's what I love about this line. There's no nasties, no silicones. You won't find that in here. Um, just all clean ingredients. And they don't have that many ingredients in their products. You know, like some other product, they've got like a thousand and one ingredients. But I think the less ingredients is better when you're looking for... Um, hair products so yeah, I picked up that and I also picked up the curl maker it's a sweet defining jelly enriched with smoothing marshmallow and agave extracts this also smells very clean um, it smells more like a fresh hand wash I'd say so it smells more fresh than sweet so this is a plant based gel as you know with Eco Styler that's a plastic gel so that gel will probably leave your hair feeling drier than plant-based gels but yeah i've heard good things from this gel and also i've heard some bad things about this gel um i think with all gels you probably shouldn't use them just on their own because they're gonna give you a cast and your hair's gonna be hard as hell so <laughs> um i think it wouldn't be a problem if i pair it with a leave-in conditioner or an oil it should be fine see i've got that and i also picked up the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. This also smells divine. It smells similar to Curl Aid, just a little bit less potent. But this says it's a softening leave-in conditioning cream with light notes of macadamia nut and vanilla. And that's what you can smell. It's the vanilla smell that you can smell. It's got rice milk and macadamia oil in it. So yes, I can't wait to try this out. As you can see, it's very thick. Love 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 thick products for my hair i say i have high porosity hair more so at the back my hair is high porosity and then towards the front it will be just normal porosity i'll probably use this and this together this i'll probably just pair it with yeah maybe with this as well but this i probably could use it on its own because yeah it's got all the oils in it it's got all the butters i will be reviewing them on my channel as well so yeah we'll see I also picked up the Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and Meadow Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment <laughs> with Marshmallow Root. Bloody hell, what a name. I bought this because I've seen the Glam Twins use this in their straightening routine. I was going to use this initially on my curly to straight routine, but I decided to buy all the Care Care products and just to try use one line on my routine. It says this leave-in treatment helps to do it all, detangles, nourishes, softens, helps with brush glide, Adds shine, smooths to reduce frizz and enhances silkiness. It looks a bit wet, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if this would be good for my straight hair. But yeah, it's more of a liquid consistency. So it will make my hair revert. I'll probably use this on like heatless styling maybe. So yeah, this doesn't really have a place in my hair care routines at the moment. But um, 
I, th I really wanted to try this product out and it's just been on my wish list for a while so yeah that and I also picked up a few skincare bits so I picked up this the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula I've been using this for about six months now and I really really like what it's doing for my skin um, at the moment my skin has got some blemishes because I've just fallen off my skincare routine I've not been consistent at all so I'm now in the process of clearing my skin again so yeah I picked up that and I also picked up some hyaluronic acid as well I've already opened it and started using it so it's in my bathroom I do have my skincare routine up on my channel if you want to watch that and I also have my nighttime routine coming as well I've already recorded it I just need to finish editing it and then I upload it and lastly from look fantastic I bought this care care leave-in conditioner it helps to prevent thermal combing and ultraviolet damage and it's excellent for blow drying so yeah I use this in my current routine I did like this product it was very lightweight I've got my silk and seal hair as well um, so I use both in my routine this one I already had but they both instruct you to use only a dime size amount so that's what I did I used just a little bit more because my hair is longer and I think that's probably where I was going wrong with my curly to straight routine because I would just lap on the products and I think when you add a lot of products in your hair it wants to attract moisture to your hair so it will start reverting quicker so with me using minimal products it helped to keep my hair straight but yeah anyway I'll we'll talk about that in my curly to straight routine anyway so yeah that's the last thing I bought from look fantastic and all of that came up to £61. I did have a 20% discount as well. But um, yeah, the Camille Rose products are quite expensive. <laughs> but I really wanted to try them out. I don't know if it's something I'm going to continue to buy just because it's so expensive. We'll see. We'll see the results and then I decide. But yeah, the Curlade was 9 99 The Curl Maker was £13.61. And the Moisture Milk was £9.59. <laughs> so that alone added up to half of what I spent from Look Fantastic. That's a lot of money for hair products. So yeah, let's move on to Superdrug. I already got the leave-in conditioner from Look Fantastic. So I went ahead and bought the rest of the Kara K products from Superdrug. I had no idea that they sell Kara K and Superdrug. In fact, I think they're putting out a lot more black hair care, which is amazing. So yeah, I picked all of these Kara K products up from Superdrug. So I got the Intensive Restorative Mask by Care Care. I used this already in my in my Curly to Straight routine. So with all the products I bought from Care Care, I've already used them, so I already know how I like them. So this mask, initially I wasn't feeling it at all because it's more of a lightweight mask, but I feel like it did a lot for my hair. As you can see, it's got this, this sticky residue. Not residue, but stickiness to it i'm not really sure why um i haven't really gone deep into the ingredients that went into this product but it's very different to what i would usually usually use but i guess with curly to straight routines you need something more lightweight when you're using deep conditioners because you don't want to have anything heavy in your hair so yeah i picked up this i really did like it in the end um when i first put it on my hair it didn't feel like it was doing much at all. It didn't give me a lot of slip either. But once I combed out, it was fine. I ended up really, really liking it. And I probably will use this again. Or buy this again for my curly to straight hair routines. So I got that. I also picked up the shampoo and conditioner. So this shampoo is a hydrating detangling shampoo. It says it provides a rich lava to remove excess oils from the hair and scalp without stripping. Lightly conditions, eases wet and dry combing, repairs damaged areas and moisturises. I actually like this shampoo. It didn't feel stripping at all. Um, it did feel quite moisturising in my hair. It lathered up fine as well. I don't think it contains any sulfate either from what I remember reading. A sodium sulfosicate. So I do think that is a sulfate, but I don't really run away from sulfates because I do add a lot of products to my hair. So I do like to strip those products off my hair, but just not my natural stuff, you know? So yeah, I want to talk about um, ingredients in products in another video because that's a whole nother topic and I can go on forever with all the research that I've discovered. So yeah, that's the shampoo. 
the hairdresser I used to go to way, 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 way back in the day did used to use this line on my hair. I really do like this line for their shampoo and conditioners. The whole line, actually, every product I use from Care Care in this routine, I'm really happy with. So that's a shampoo and the conditioner. It says it's a Hemecto cream conditioner. It says it helps to correct and prevent moisture loss due to exposure to chemicals. It helps to prevent brittleness, breakage and splitting, hydrates and humectifies, detangles for easy combing, adds shine and eliminates static charge. <sighs> I don't know about it doing all of that stuff, but I did like it. <laughs> I don't remember it being too thick on the hair, but once again, you don't really want that with your curly to straight routines. So yeah, that's the leave-in conditioner. I also picked up the essential oils from Care Care as well. It's a blend of natural oils. It moisturizes dry hair and scalp, helps protect against dryness, absorbs easily leaving no greasy buildup and revitalizes chemically processed hair. I do really like this essential oils. And the thing is with using these oils other than you know the raw oils that we have this is lightweight and this won't weigh your hair down as much as a normal oil would so this is when i like to use essential oils in a bottle form otherwise i use the oils in their raw form for my curly hair <laughs> so yeah this is perfect for straight hair so i will put this in my hair when i wrap my hair at night so it does slightly weigh it down when you initially put it in your hair but once you wrap your hair up and go to bed, wake up in the morning, take it down, it's back to normal and it's fine. So yeah, that's the essential oils. And the last thing I bought from Care Care from Superdrug was this Silk and Seal liquid sheen. This I use straight after straightening my hair just to give it some more added shine. So I use this to give my hair added shine boost in a day rather than the essential oils because this is very, very lightweight. I'll show you guys, it's a mist. Like that and it leaves no oily residue at all so love 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 this product I'll only use this if necessary so today I used it to demonstrate in another video that I was doing before this but I rarely pick this up to moisturize my hair it's just the oils at night time and that's it so yeah that's it for Care Care the next thing I bought was this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant so I used to use a, a different Tresemme one back in the day before I bought the Cantu heat protectant. As with any heat protectant, you don't actually know if it really works, but you just put it in your hair because you have to. Uh, <laughs> it says it has up to 230 degrees heat protection and it has up to 72 hours of frizz control, silky shine, it perfectly detangles, it feels soft and it tames flyaways. So that's what it says on the bottle. Um, it didn't tame my flyaway, so I don't know about that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a heat protectant. I bought that. <laughs> and lastly, I bought this Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Mask. Again, this is another product that I've heard so much about and I've just been, been meaning to try. It must have been going cheaper in Super Drugs why I picked it up because I don't usually like to buy <laughs> expensive products. It smells really nice and um, not too strong. Oh, it's really thick. Really thick. Yeah. So I think this will be a good deep conditioner. So with my deep conditioners, I usually change them from time to time. Just because I like to try different things. And I haven't really found anything that works extremely well. So maybe this might be the stuff. So if I was to spend money on a product, it would be my deep conditioners because that's what's going to repair your hair and keep it in optimal condition. So yeah, I can't wait to try this product. I will be reviewing it on my channel as well. And that's the last thing I bought from Superdrug. So all those products from Superdrug came up to about £43. Now let's move on to boots. With boots, I just bought a few makeup bits. I picked up two NYX lingerie lipsticks. So these are the two other shades that I recommended from my video that I did a few weeks ago. My whole collection of the lip lingerie lipsticks. That I have so I picked up the color in embellishment and after hours I'm currently wearing after hours with a little bit of delicate lust put in the middle and I lined my lips with MAC chestnut so yeah, those are the other two colors I picked up I've already swatched and tried them already this is like a pinky purpley nice color for spring and this is a brown 
so it's like really close to my skin color and i also picked up a nyx soft cream lip cream in london i haven't tried this one out i also have a video on all the nips butter glosses soft creams and intense butter glosses up on my channel if you want to go check that video out i'll open this up now and give you guys a swatch actually so this is london it looks a really nice color actually mm. let me just swatch the other ones as well and just to show you guys what they look like i also picked up a new mascara this is the maybelline lash sensational lash multiplier mascara i've never tried this one out before i would open it to show you guys the bristles but my other mascara has not run out yet so i don't want to make this one dry out before it's time but i know that this brush is really thick and it's not plastic because i don't like the plastic brushes at all so yeah i just picked up another mascara and lastly i picked up this clear mascara from collection this i use to set my eyebrows i don't use eyebrow gel or anything this is what 2.99 or 1.99 and it does the job for me like my eyebrows well they're not hard but they do set them in place so yeah that's all i bought from boots just a few makeup bits i forgot to mention that i did buy this moisturizing cream from cerave whatever it's called um it's for dry to very dry skin it moisturizes and helps helps to restore the protective skin barrier of the face and body with free essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid so with my face it's very dry <laughs> i've been using a cream from neutrogena it's very lightweight and i feel like my skin just needs a little bit more help and i used this today i really really like the way it felt on my face when i first bought it i was a bit confused if i could use it on my face or not but it does say face and body so i'll be trying this out adding a little bit to my face cream because my skin needs help <laughs> my skin's so dry honestly so i bought that as well i'll also show you what i bought from amazon recently as well so i picked up some of these hair clips so these are usually used to lock twists so when you retwist them you lock them in place but i've seen rush lachey use these when she's doing her twist outs so basically she would twist her hair put the clip in and it will hold it in place so with me i usually tend to do a little braid in the beginning and then i'll do the twist but that creates more frizz so i'm going to try this method out as well to see if i like it see if it helps so yeah, I bought that. I also bought these hair clips that I've used already. So I don't know if you remember the care, what's it called? Korea clips back in the day where they would put this on the hair, pull it all the way up to do layers and then just chop, 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 chop. So I used this with the way I currently cut my hair and this helped so much. It helped me get that straight line at the back and because I tend to get cramps in my hand when I'm trying to grip my hair this helped so 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 much and also it came with a smaller clip so this I use more than that one so this one I just used to go straight down my back and then this one I used to do all the layers actually a lifesaver and it's perfect for anyone who's got like grip issues or arthritis in your hands it also came with a pair of thinning shears but um yeah i'm not gonna use those <laughs> and all the reviews on amazon were bashing the scissors anyway so yeah i don't think i'm gonna miss out on that so the last thing i picked up from amazon was these hair rollers they're the velcro cling rollers these i will be using to add volume to my straight hair i do have some rollers hair already but they don't work very well my hair to just slide out because they're quite slippery so i'm gonna try these velcro ones to see how i go i use these to get the volume in my hair when it's straight and so with this straight hair it will just make it flow a lot better so the ends are dead straight now with the rollers it just make them have this bumped look you know like going around and all the face frame layers go around like that you know so yeah i'll be recording that and that's the last thing i got i also do have some products that i bought months ago that i haven't tried out yet but i'm gonna put that all into the next video that i'm gonna record and that will be all the products that i have in my house at the moment <laughs> products that i always use products that i plan to use and even products that i don't necessarily like if you're interested in that video subscribe to my channel so yeah that's all the items that i recently bought and now i've got to find somewhere to put them <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. 
thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye